how are you doing? Let me know in the comments and we're gonna get straight into this tutorial so make sure that you subscribe because I put a lot of time and effort into my uploads and like this video because this is a very packed tutorial so it's helpful if more people see it. Alright I love you let's get into it. Okay so I got my comp here typical 1080p 24 fps comp and this is the cinematic that we want to have a particle trail on so I'm, I'm gonna put that between markers 1 and 2 just so I can stabilize and color correct this I'm gonna control shift C and pre-comp this and I'm gonna do that twice so pre-comp that again and now I'm gonna double click and then double click again and go into my raw footage now I can have my own comp with my color correction and stabilization Okay, I color corrected the scene. If you want a tutorial on how to do that and how to color correct and color grade, that is on the top right on one of my tutorials. So I want to camera track the scene and before I do that, I'm just going to warp stabilize this and put this to somewhere around 5. And it basically just smooths out the video so that the motion is very clean. Now that's optional, it's just something I like to do to help make my videos a bit smoother. So I'm going to go back to my main comp and double click that so we're in the second pre-comp. And I'm just going to name this Stabilized. And now I'm going to look up Camera Tracker. So while we're waiting for this camera to track, there are a few options of what we can do. We can start adding our trap code particular or our text and all those important assets. Or while we're waiting, I can tell you guys a story. So obviously one of those options is much more important. So. Once upon a time, there was this little frog and he was just- Okay, our camera has finished tracking and if you can't see these track points, make sure you have the effect selected and that your toggle masks is enabled. And we're just gonna- uh, I'm gonna make a solid like right here. Uh, let's, and I'm just gonna select the green points because the green points mean that it's tracked a bit better. And uh, cool, so like, something like that. And we have a little solid and then I'm gonna create a new right click and create a new light and you have to name this emitter that's pretty important so click OK and then control Y and name that solid particular so we have create a solid name particular and then add trap code particular to that solid so if we slide through we have some particles here and just like element 3d trap code particular is a 3d effect so you don't have to worry about making anything a 3d layer now if we go from active camera to top camera I'm gonna select this emitter light and zoom out and basically follow this basic camera motion with the emitter and create some sort of cool path with the position of it. So we're just gonna go to the beginning and set a keyframe on the emitter light. And then if we mess with this Z distance, place it in some cool spots around the camera. You wanna make sure it's not too far ahead of the camera and not too in front, otherwise it's gonna be hard to see. You, know, you want it to be visible. And then, so I'm just gonna move some cool path here with the emitter light. And I'm just gonna turn off the particular layer for now because we don't need it quite yet. For my keyframes, I'm going pretty far ahead between e each interval. So that it's just following a more general path. And then I'm just positioning this light to do something cool. And now if we go back to these little keyframes, we can add a little bit of curvature if we just select these keyframe boxes. And I don't know, something something like this, perhaps. So if we go from back to top to active camera and then fit up to 100, now we just want to mess with the Y positioning. So we're going to have it come up here. And you're going to want to tweak these keyframes quite a bit because uh, it's different when you're seeing it right in front of the camera and then so we're just we're just adding some sort of path here so here I'm gonna go ahead and set a new keyframe here and if you click click on the camera tracker and click you you can get an idea of where the camera is right now so right now if I look at the Z position for the camera I need to drag it a little bit forward so that it's easier to be seen and I'm going to bring it up a little bit and then delete this keyframe after it because I'm just kind of replacing that. And then I want this to go pretty far ahead and up, kind of to the right. And to 
shift these values on a broader spectrum. I'm holding shift as I uh, slide. So I'm just going to go ahead and refine this path a little bit. And now the light is following a bit of a better path. If I go back to my main comp, this composition is obviously dummy long, so we're just going to control alt T and time map it. And we're going to go to the second marker and drag this forward so that it ends where we want it to. And then alt right bracket trim off the end. And then I'm just going to select all those and add a bit of flow to them so that the particle isn't, now it's not just mega slow-mo. All right, so that's timer mapped. I'm going to go back in and now we can add our trap code particular. So I'm going to turn this particular layer back on and go to emitter and make sure the type is set to light so that now it's following this path from the light. So that's the main thing. Now we just want to play around with these settings. So I'm going to lower the emitter size so that it's not too spread out and go over to particle and change the set color. We'll try over life and Let's let's do a bit of a blue gradient. And then I don't usually do shading, but if you want to, you can turn this on and make sure the light fall off is from the After Effects lights. And I'm going to go to Physics and turn down this Physics Time Factor. And that's especially because we're time remapping this. This whole cinematic is going to be a lot faster, so we want to make sure these particles aren't moving too fast. So let me try something like 4. Alright, cool, and... That's the main gist. We'll turn up the particles to something like, let's try somewhere around 200. And now a more intuitive way of doing it is if we just open up Designer, you can obviously do all of these things in the Designer. It's a, it's a nice design for working with this effect. So if I go to Systems and go to Master System and duplicate that, now we can add like a bit of a broader set of particles. So I'm gonna go to Particle Type and I wanna change this from Sphere to Streaklet. And then also if you want to go to your master system, which is, you know, our original set of particles, you can also do whatever shape you want. I'm going to go with sphere because I kind of like how that looks. So let's go to the, that second system, which is the duplicate of the master. And I'm going to go to size and rotation and put this to a bit of a triangle so that it starts out normal size and then just fades off to zero. And let's go to emitter type and we want to increase the size of this emitter size because this second system of particles that we're adding we want it to be a bit smokier in a way like a bit broader so I'll click apply there and so now we have these other particles and I'm gonna go to the system 2 particle and I want these to be a little bit bigger so if I go to size under particle I can make these a little bit bigger I'm just going to slightly adjust this path. Back in particular, I want to make the emitter size a little less big because that was pretty, I think I did that a little over the top. So I'm going to go to emitter size and just turn that down. So now these streaklets aren't terribly busy. So I'm digging these particles so far and now we just got to composite it a bit better. So in particular, I'm going to go a bit forward and I'm going to add tint and then I'm going to add color vibrance, which is a free plugin from Video Copilot. And I found that color vibrance actually works better if the layer is tinted beforehand because then it can have a little more flexibility with the colors. So I'm going to turn down the vibrance a little bit and I want to make this like some blue type thing. And I'm going to turn on matte alpha and then just lower the vibrance a little bit, lower the tint a little bit. So we've added some blue to it. And then if you have star glow, any glow will work well. Uh, I like to use star glow. So if I look up star glow and then I'm going to go to just, we'll try out a preset and then tweak it a little bit. I'm going to increase the threshold and increase the softness. Let me turn this up to full. And then I just want to lower this streak length, maybe increase the boost light. So something like this. And then, so that's with and without star glow. And I actually don't like this size over life preset that we have. I'm going to 
keep it at normal so it doesn't have a size animation over time and then I'm just gonna lower that back down a little more go to the master system and maybe see if we want to increase that size a little bit so I think this is a bit better and then go back to the main comp and see how this is looking Great, so let me go back into this comp and let's just composite these particles a little more. So on particular, I'm gonna look up, assuming you don't have any other plugins, I'm just gonna use Camera Lens Blur, which is inside of After Effects. So we'll start that, maybe boost that up a lot at the start, like 17, and keyframe it, and then click U and bring that to the beginning. I'm actually gonna have this end at around 1.4, so it starts blurry and then the slightest bit blurry after. Let me start this once it comes into view. Alright, I'm vibing with this. Let me just turn up a little bit more glow. I'm just going to lower the threshold on the glow so it's a bit more and we should be good. Alright, cool. Let's get rid of this... Uh, <clears throat> turn that off now we want to make this particle trail look as phenomenal as possible so I'm gonna control Y and make a new solid and make sure that it's black and I'm gonna name this lens flare now assuming you don't have video copilot optical flares BCC or sapphire or any of those things I'm just gonna use the default lens flare inside of after effects to show you how this works it doesn't matter which one you use and this one looks great now I'm gonna I'm gonna put this blending mode to add and we want this lens flare to follow the emitter from the light so I can put the flare center there manually, and then once it starts moving, what am I gonna do? So if we alt click on the flare center and take this pick width from the expression and apply it to the emitter, not the position of the emitter, but the emitter layer itself, and we drag that on, this syntax is gonna be generated from that. So then if we click dot, to comp and what we're typing here is an expression that's going to map this 2d lens flare to a 3d path so if i type dot to comp and then soft bracket hard bracket and then just type in zero comma zero comma zero to say okay i want you to take this 2d lens flare center and map it to the three x y and z position coordinates of the emitter so then we'll deselect from that And then you see that the lens flare is following the emitter path. Also, shout out to Stu Mashwitz from Red Giant. He was a help in getting me to learn this. So we have this lens flare. We can go with whatever type we want. So we can try uh, maybe this, I kind of like this 105 and we want to lower that brightness quite a bit and put it below the particular. So now at the emitter, we have a little bit of brightness. You could go crazy with it. So I'm gonna go, so I usually go somewhere around 20. I'm going to go back to the main comp and see how that's And I like to use lens flare because instead of it just being like a glowing orb, it has this bit of light from the sun. I'm going to go ahead and control alt y and add a color grade from my editing pack which is on my pay hit. Link is in the description. You know, on second thought, I'm going to go back into particular and turn off the shading. It's just, it's just too much increase the threshold by the slightest bit and lower the boost light a little bit. I might just lower the flare brightness on this lens flare. And you can even add color vibrance to that and give it, we're just gonna eye drop some blue here. Something, something like this. And turn on matte alpha, lower the vibrance a little bit. Turn up the brightness. And now our lens flare is looking pretty good. I'm actually going to take the blur from particular and control C and paste it at the same spot onto my lens flare. And you might want to alter the path of the particles a little bit. I usually don't get it first try. If you want to add some text, like maybe we put some text on the wall, I recommend that, like for example, if I just create this little solid, just so you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm going to make this a 3D solid. and copy and paste the position from the track solid and then 
just say this is my text. I recommend you solo that with your cinematic so that you don't have to worry about particular being in the background. It, it, it's, a, it's kind of a bitch on your computer, so. All right, well, that is the main idea of Trap Code Particular. That was definitely a pretty in-depth tutorial. Uh, if you had any qualms about it, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I wanna make tutorials that are as helpful as possible, so if you could let me know what I can do better, it would be very appreciated. And most importantly, guys, make sure to subscribe and like this video and, and share it if it's helpful because it means the world when I can help you guys out. Not to mention, I spend so much time and effort into all my videos because I care about providing content that you would wanna see. If you made it to the end, wow, you're amazing. I love you guys. I hope these are helpful. Make sure to follow my socials in the description if you want to get in touch with me. And uh, peace. I love you. Riding how I wear the blazer when I get up out of bed. Your girl asking for the look. I had to leave that girl in bed. Say I'm acting wild and I have to stay true. Fans up in a pile. This shit happens in the room. Agent like this fine wine. I just came up with the sauce. Your girl asking if she mind. Cause we both know who the boss. I just pulled out all my diamonds. And she asking if it's real. Yeah, they rich. I never lie. Shotty no, I'm a big deal. Agent like this fine wine. I just came up with the sauce. Your girl asking if she mind. Cause we both know.